are on the record. It is September 27, 2019. This is Judge Wish, Courtroom 1, Session 1. Can I have the parties announce themselves for the record, please? Coffee Kennedy Swanson on behalf of the Office of State Attorney. Office, Letitia Fowler with the Office of Public Defender. Adam Schull with the Office of Public Defender, Your Honor. Yeah, I guess you all did have plenty of time to review everything. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. You got a haircut. Oh, thank you, Your Honor. Yes. <laughs> The first person that noticed, Your Honor. I noticed. And no one else did. I noticed these things. I won't say anything. I do. Your Honor. No I one did. else did. I noticed. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> We're allowed to have some levity. Good morning, sir. Please tell me your name. Ray Delian. All right, Mr. Delian, you're here in 2019 CF 13623AO, and you are arrested per, um, for possession of MDMA ecstasy. I do find probable cause. I don't have a form for the public defender. Do you want me to appoint them to represent you? I'm going to appoint the Public Defender's Office to represent Mr. Delian. You're not to possess or consume any illegal substances without a valid prescription. Can he be screened? He can be. Okay, for, for mental health pretrial release? Okay. And he, or pretrial release or something? I don't know if that won't work. Okay. He, I'm going to do bond or PTR. I'll do a $500 bond or the mental health pretrial release if he qualifies. Okay. All right, good morning. Please tell me your name. Otis Mitchell. Okay, do we know what happened to Re Rebecca Griffiths? Okay, and then Seth Latendre? Okay. <laughs> What was your name again, sir? Otis Mitchell. Otis Mitchell. All right. Okay, I found you. All right, Mr. Mitchell, you're here in 2019 CF 13618AO. You're arrested for grand theft of a motor vehicle. I do find probable cause, and I'll appoint the public defender. You may not have any contact with any listed victim or witness in the case, and the bond will stay set at one thousand. Your Honor, I do have to show that he's an out-of-state detainer. Which particular state is that for? And Tennessee. 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 Yeah. And is it they will extradite? They waiting on confirmation. They're waiting on confirmation. I don't know if they've gotten any additional information. Thank you. Good morning, ma'am. Please tell me your name. Rebecca Griffiths. All right, Miss Griffiths, you're here in 2019 CF 13619AO. You're arrested for possession of methamphetamine and possession of drug paraphernalia. I do find probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. And I'll stay the bonds at a thousand and a hundred. If you do qualify for pre if they're able to qualify you for pretrial release, then you can do that. Um, I don't know if I don't it just says they haven't been able to verify any emergency contact or anything of that so if they're able to do that then I have no objection to pretrial release okay if you do go the pretrial release route you need to make sure that you don't possess or consume any illegal substances without a valid prescription and you follow all of their requirements okay yes ma'am
right, good morning, sir. Please tell me your name. Travis White. Okay. All right, Mr. White, you're here in 2019 CF 13622AO. You were arrested for possession of cocaine and possession of cannabis less than 20 grams. I do find probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. You can't possess or consume any illegal substances without a valid prescription, and the bond will stay set at 1,100. Yeah, I had Latandre, but I don't know. Oh, okay. So is he not coming back? Okay, we'll handle him at the end. Can we pass by Mr. Polson? We can. Okay, hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'm on standby. Mr. Canales? Yes. Okay. All right. Good morning, sir. Please tell me your name. Juan Canales. All right. Mr. Canales, you're here in 2019-CF-13624-AO. You're arrested for burglary of a conveyance, and I do find probable cause for that offense, and I'll appoint the Public Defender's Office to represent you. In 2019, CF 13625AO, you're arrested for possession of cocaine and possession of drug paraphernalia. I do find probable cause, and I'll appoint the PD to represent you in that case. In the burglary case, you're not to return back to 2787 Weston Lane or have any contact with any listed victim or witness. In the case, you may not possess or consume any illegal substances without a valid prescription. And I'll stay the bond at the 3500 in 13625 AO. You may not possess or consume any illegal substances without a valid prescription, and I'll stay the bond at 1100. All right, good morning. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Ms. Geraldine Poston. Okay. Mr. Poston, you're here. You were, looks like you were picked up on an out-of-county warrant. Along with my wife. Out of Pinellas County. And the judge in that case did set your bond at $2,513. So if you're able to bond out, you can bond out. If you can't bond out, then Pinellas County has 72 hours, not including weekends or holidays to come and pick you up, okay? And if they don't do so in that time frame, then you'd come back before a judge. So you, you do have a bond in the case, okay? If you're able to bond out, you can bond out. If not, they have 72 hours, not including weekends or holidays, to come and get you, okay? I have $2,000, I think I have to. Okay, well, you, you might wanna call a bondsman, okay? Or have some family call a bondsman yeah, for you. Okay. Okay. How would I arrange to call that? You know, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Have, it's I'm really not, loud, and I can't I'm hear. I'm having trouble. I need. To, I know. I need some sisters. I have a brother in Dallas. Uh, Council Kennedy Williams. He lives in Carrollton. Maybe okay. Call you him need to somebody. contact your family or a bondsman to see if you can bond out. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much, ma'am. Okay. Have a good day.
right, good morning, sir. Good morning. Can you tell me your name? Thomas Scott Kerrigan. Okay, Mr. Kerrigan, you're here in 2019 CF 3783AO, and it looks like you failed to appear for trial on September 23rd, 2019. I did see that Judge White did give you a $2,500 bond, so you do have a bond in the case, and that was pursuant to an order on September 26, 2019, which I have before me. And um, so if you can bond out, you can bond out. Yeah, and then I'm not going to take any action on your out on release case, okay? Just Thank make you. sure you show up to any court date. You have a court date on October 8th, 2019 at 8.30 a.m. Yes, okay? ma'am. All right. Okay, so I'm free to go today? You have a bond. If you bond it out, you no, can. No, I've, I've already paid it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pay it. It's 2500 It's um, pursuant to Judge White's order. All right, good morning. Please tell me your name. Shamia Dorsey. All right, Ms. Dorsey, you're here in 2019 CF 5560CO. And you were arrested pursuant to a warrant, or excuse me, a capius for failing to appear for an arraignment on June 6, 2019. The judge did revoke your release and set your bond at none on each count. Does she have the public defender? No. Okay, so um, I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you and they can file any motions with regards to bond for you in Division 16. All right, good morning. Please tell me your name. Jennifer Frederick. All right, Ms. Frederick, you're here in 2016 CF 11463AO. You're arrested pursuant to a capius for failing to appear for arraignment on February 21st, 2017. The judge did forfeit your bond and set your bond at none on each count. And I'll, I do have a PD form. I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. And they can file any motions with regards to bond for you in Division 16. Good morning, sir. Please tell me your name. Anthony Dragadet. All right, Mr. Cadet. You're here in 2019 CF 13643, and you are arrested for possession of cannabis, more than 20 grams, possession of tetrahydrocannabinols, possession of cocaine, possession of alprazolam, and um, trafficking or possessing 50 or more counterfeit credit cards. And I do find probable cause, and I don't believe that you're going to qualify for the public defender. Do you make $1,200 every two weeks? Uh, Ma'am, the public defender already represents me on a previous case. Okay, but you filled out an affidavit today that Correct. indicates that you make $1,200 every two weeks. Yes, but that should be amended. Okay. That shouldn't, that's not ref active, accurately reflecting my income. Okay, well, why did you tell them that? Because I don't know, to be honest with you. So tell me what your income can be accurately reflected. More at. like 300, 300 a week. That's a big difference. Yes. All right, based on that, I will appoint the public defender's office to represent you. I've amended the affidavit. And in the case you're not to possess or consume any illegal substances without a valid prescription, no contact with any witnesses in the case or any victims in the case. And the bonds will stay set at 150, 150, 150, 150, and 5,000. You're out on bond in 2019 CF 815A I'm revoking the bond and setting that bond at none. And you do have an attorney. They can file any motions in that division. All right, please tell me your name, sir. Joshua Granger. All right, Mr. Granger, you're here in 2019 CF 13627AO. 
You're arrested for trafficking in methamphetamine over 10 grams, less than 200 grams, possession of cannabis more than 20 grams, and possession of drug paraphernalia. If you find probable cause, I'll appoint the public defender. You may not possess or consume any illegal substances without a valid prescription. No contact with any witnesses, no weapons or firearms or any ammunition. And the bonds will stay at 50,000. I'll reduce count two to 150. I'll reduce count three to 100. All right, please tell me your name. Shakita Jones. All right, Ms. Jones, you're here in 2019 CF 13631AO. You're arrested for possession of cannabis with intent to sell or deliver with a weapon. And I do find probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. You may not possess or consume any illegal substances without a valid prescription, no weapons, no firearms, no ammunition. Your bond will be set at 7,500. Good morning, sir. Please tell me your name. All right, Mr. Christensen, you're here in 2019 CF 13615 AO. You're arrested for possession of cocaine, possession of cannabis, less than 20 grams. I do find probable cause. I'll appoint the PD to represent you. No, you may not possess or consume any illegal substances without a valid prescription. I'll stay the bond at 1,000. I'll reduce count one to 100. Count two, I'm sorry, to 100, thank you. And um, you do have reporting requirements that I have to advise you of. All right, please tell me your name, sir. William Lammy. All right, Mr. Lammy, you're here in 2019 CF 13608AO. You're arrested for grand theft, third degree of a motor vehicle, and obtaining property by fraud over 20,000, less than 50,000. And I do find probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. You may not return back to any Avis, any Enterprise, or any Hertz. I wouldn't go to any car deal or any car rental place if I were you, but those are the uh, victims in the case here. And you're not to have any contact with any listed victim or witness. I'll stay the bond at 300 on count one and 5,000 on count two. I'll appoint the PD if I didn't say that already. Please tell me your name, ma'am. Morgan Marinello. All right, Ms. Marinello, you're here in 2019 CF 13616AO. You're arrested for possession of fentanyl. I do find probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. You're not to possess or consume any illegal substances without a valid prescription. And I will stay the bond at 1,000. Hold on, ma'am, we have an out on bond form that I need to address. So you're out on bond for trafficking and fentanyl possession and possession with intent. I'm revoking the bond in 2019 CF 11405AO. You do have an attorney in that case and they can file any motions to set bond for you. Is that a public defender attorney, Your Honor? Um, Duarte. Who 
Jose Duarte. Okay. I don't know, is that somebody that works at your office? It's a private attorney. It's a private attorney. Good morning. Please tell me your name. Marlon Richardson. All right, Mr. Richardson, you're here in 2019 CF 13626AO. You're arrested for retail theft over 300 and grand theft third degree over 300 under 5,000. I do find probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender. You may not return back to the Home Depot at 7022 West Colonial Drive. You must abide by any trespass warning. No contact with any victims or witnesses. Your bond on count one will stay set at 1,000 and what count two I'll reduce to 150. Please tell me your name, sir. Rodolfo Saavedra. All right, so you're here in 2017 CF 13158AO. Looks like the state did file an information in the case charging you with aggravated fleeing or attempting to elude a law enforcement officer causing injury or damage and count two, leaving the scene of an accident involving property damage. And you are arrested pursuant to a warrant, but that's what the state filed charges on. Um, I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. You may not return. not to have any contact with any listed victim or witness in the case. And your bond on count one will be set at $10,000, count two, 1,000. Good morning, sir. Please tell me your name. David Smith. All right, Mr. Smith, you're here in 2017 CF 13203AO. You're arrested pursuant to a capius for failing to appear for a determination of counsel hearing on February 28, 2018. The judge did revoke your bond and set your bond at none. I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you and they can file any motions in Division 20 with the judge in that case. You do have reporting requirements that I have to advise you of. Your Honor, yes. if I can have one moment with them. Sure. Your Honor, yeah. he's in, he currently is in prison, so from the context of him failing to appear, if we can clarify that, please. And also, too, is I'm not sure if the public defender's office is signed. He was doing his own motions on this on this matter. I'm sorry, you, he didn't have an attorney. Correct. That's it's okay. A determination of counsel hearing that he failed to appear for. So um, I just appointed the PD because he filled out a form, so the PD can file any motions to him. Um, I don't. It looks like you may be a current inmate. Yes, I don't know when that began. So it looks like. Sorry. May 21st, 2019 is initial receipt date for DOC. Okay. So it looks like on December 6, 2017, there was a court date, and the state attorney advised the court that you were in the Polk County Jail. And so judges can find that a failure to appear based on the new law arrest can be a willful failure to appear. So the judge was aware that you were in the Polk County Jail in December, and then the court
report minutes from that date reflect that. And then there was a notice of setting hearing, and then there was a court date on February 28, 2018. And the judge did revoke the bond on that day for a failure to appear. So I don't know what communication the court had with you. You didn't have an attorney. So um, that's something that you'll have to ask Judge Kest about right. because I don't know what happened at those court dates other than what's in the court minutes. And for the gentleman, we're assigned now. So we'll yeah, be able to assist you. Yeah. We'll so be able to assist can, you with those they matters. They can sir. file any motions for you. And then I do have to advise, I believe, I think I said he had reporting okay. requirements. Does he also have a court date on the 3rd <coughs> of <coughs> October? Okay. All right, good, good morning. Please tell me your name. Tristan Stewart. All right, Mr. Stewart, you're here in 2019 CF1545BO. You're arrested pursuant to a KPS for failing to appear for a key trial management conference on June 27, 2019. The judge did um, give you a bond at $5,000 on count one and 500 on count two. Does he have the PD? Conflict counsel? Okay, you do have conflict counsel. If you're not able to make the bonds, they can file any motions to reduce your bond in, in that division 22, okay? Your Honor, who is his conflict counsel attorney, please? Call conflict counsel, they'll know. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. All right, please tell me your name. Jonathan Tackett. All right, Mr. Tackett, you're here in 2019 CF 13594AO, and you're arrested pursuant to a warrant in which probable cause was found for armed burglary, attempted burglary of a conveyance, and petty theft of $100 or more. I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. Looks like Judge Craner did have, give him a bond of 1500 on count one. It is a PBL. I don't know if the state wants to be heard as to the bond on count one. Okay. So um, based on my review of the charging affidavit, um, I will stay the bond um, if the state's not asking me to find any proof evident presumption great at 1500, 1000, and 100. You may not return back to the victim's residence or within a thousand feet of the victim's residence. That's what's on the warrant at 821 Bristol Forest Way. And you may not have any contact with any listed victim or witness. You may not possess any weapons, any firearms, or any ammunition in the case. All right, please tell me your name, ma'am. Lorena Villarreal. Bill so Urain, you're here in 2019 CF 13327AO. You were arrested pursuant to a warrant in which probable cause was found for burglary of a dwelling and grand theft over 100 from a dwelling. 
and I will appoint the public defender's office to represent you may not return back to 200 Wood Bay Court or have any contact with any victim, any witness, or any co-defendant in the case. And the bonds will stay at 5,150. Please tell me your name, sir. Mr. Eric Walters. Okay, Mr. Walters. You are here in 2017 CF's 8741A0, and you are arrested pursuant to a KPS for failing to appear for a competency status hearing on September 11, 2019. The judge wrote on the KPS that you violated your conditional release by failing to appear for the hearing, and do you have the PD? Okay, you do have the public defender. The judge did give you a $5,000 bond on count one and ROR due on counts two and three. And I won't take any action on the out on release cases. We need to make sure that you speak with your attorneys and don't miss any court dates and they can file any motions in division 10 for you. May I say something? I just got out of the release. I did time here for the cases I have the documents in my backpack. I was caught real quick and couldn't get the documents out saying I got time served on each one of the cases. I was in Kissimmee on a Okay, well the only project. case that I have in front of me right now that I'm looking at the KPS for is 2017 CF 8741. And so I can see if it's been closed out and if you actually resolve the case. I've just been released May of this year with a Okay. Walters. Yes. Walters. It's Eric Walters, and I, it's not a closed case. It's an open case. The point I was trying to make is that they released me and can see me, stating that I have no warrants whatsoever, but that's why they released me. Okay. I well, was here doing, excuse me. I, I don't me. know what happened in that county. All I know is, is that may, you failed to May I explain, Your Honor? You, you're cutting well, me off. There's nothing I can do about the KPS, sir. So you're going to have to talk to Judge Adams about the KPS. I was, She's the here, only one. I was here doing time. They released me from here and sent me to Kissimmee. Okay. Was he in jail here on September 11, 2019? So you're gonna have to have your attorneys file a motion with Judge Adams and she can evaluate whatever you're telling me. Um, but right now there's nothing that I can do about the KPS. Well, I'm guessing that you feel Mr. Osceola County on April appointment. Okay, but not September. Tell me your name, sir. Anthony Williams, ma'am. Right. Mr. Williams, you're here in 2017 CF 1025AO, and you're arrested pursuant to a KPS for failing to appear for a status hearing on September 6, 2019. And it looks like the judge did set your bond at none in each K in each count. And it's a drug court case, so my guess is you have the PD. Okay, you do have the public defender, and. Um, they can file any motions with Judge Whitehead, okay, to see if he'll give you a bond in the case. All right, please tell me your name, sir. Benjamin Williams. All right, Benjamin Williams? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, Mr. Williams, you're here in 2019 CF 7490AO, and you were arrested pursuant to a KPS for failing to appear for a status hearing on September 20th, 2019, 
the judge did revoke your release and set your bond at none, and this is also a drug court case. You have the PD? Okay, you do have the public defender. So you can file any motions with Judge Whitehead. All right, good morning. Please tell me your name, sir. Jeffrey Atkinson. All right, Mr. Atkinson, you're here. You were picked up on an out-of-county warrant out of Brevard County. The judge did set your bond at none in the case. And Brevard County has 24 hours pursuant to our administrative order to come and pick you up. If they don't do so, that does not include weekends or holidays. So if they don't do that, then you'll come back before a judge. I do have to advise you that you do have reporting requirements, okay? Thank you. All right, good morning. Please tell me your name, ma'am. Good morning, Your Honor. Luana Mays Poston. Okay, Ms. Poston, you were picked up on an out-of-county warrant out of Pinellas County. And the judge did set your bond at $2,513. And if you can bond out, you can bond out. If not, Pinellas County has 72 hours pursuant to our administrative order, not including weekends or holidays, to come and pick you up. So if they don't do it within that time frame, then you'll come back before a judge, okay? Yes, Your Honor. Have a good day. All right, please tell me your name, sir. Sanders. All right, Mr. Sanders, you were picked up on an out-of-county warrant out of Seminole County. And the judge did set your bond at none in the case. And so Seminole County has 24 hours pursuant to our administrative order to come and pick you up, not including weekends or holidays. And, um, and so if you, they don't do that within that time frame, you'll come back before another judge, okay? Okay. All right, and then Mr. LaTondre, he was the gentleman that was removed from the courtroom um, in 2019 CF 13539AO, and I'll appoint the Public Defender's Office to represent him, and he was removed because of his behavior. Mr. Scholl, do you want to formally waive his appearance? Yes, Your Honor. All right. And so he was picked up pursuant to a warrant in which probable cause was found for burglary to a structure in Grand Theft Third Degree. And probable cause was found. And he's not to return back to 513 West Colonial Drive, the Legal Services Clinic. He's not to have any contact with any listed victim or witness in the case. And I'll stay the bond at 2,500 on count one, 1,000 on count two. He's out on release in 2019 MM 6846AO. And I'm revoking the release and setting that at none. He does have an attorney in the case, the public defender, and they can file any motions for him on his behalf. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Timothy Page. All right, Mr. Page, you're here in 2019 MM 7502 AO, and your attorneys uh, have filed a motion for release on your own recognizance. Looks like you do have a $500 bond at this time. Um, do we have any failures to appear? Well, he has three. The last was in November of 2014. Okay. And so, Mr. Page, are you gonna res where are you going to reside? 4213 Ponderosa Drive. And then you, who lives there with you? My mother. Okay. I'm her caretaker. I'm ordering that you keep in touch with the public defender's office and that if you miss any court dates, you probably get a no bond capius, okay? So I'm gonna grant your motion. Thank you. Yes, 
So all of the same conditions that you were ordered to at your initial this appearance one. will still apply, okay? And so just to remind you of those, you're not to have any contact directly or indirectly with any victim in the case. That's the this only one. condition that I see that Judge Carter imposed, but I would probably know the facts of the case if there's the conveyance I don't know if that's a vehicle or some sort of other conveyance so it looks like it's a vehicle so no contact with any victim in the case okay yes, sure. just make sure you go to every, any, any court dates that you have and you don't miss anything and you keep in touch and they know how to get in touch with you yes sure okay good luck Please tell me your name. Louis Perez. All right, Mr. Perez, you're here in 2019 MM 6601AO, and your attorneys have filed a motion for release on your own recognizance or on the alternative to set bond. There's no objection to Mr. Perez. Okay, and so does he have any failures to appear? One in the last, excuse me, in February of 2012. Motion says never failed to appear, but um, it looks like his this was a re revoc. I mean, he the bond was revoked in this case. So the pretrial it was revoked That's in correct. this case by myself mm -hmm. on September sixteenth, two thousand and nineteen, based on a new law offense. In 2019, CF 13101. And you're still in custody on that, of course. And that's a burglary of a conveyance, a petty theft, and a battery. All right, Ms. Fowler, it's your motion. Your Honor, I'll defer the matter to the court. I would just like to highlight um, he's been in custody since August 8th on a simple trespass, but I'll just defer it to the court. Well, he was he bonded out on August 9th. Bonded on August 9th. And then he got picked up on a new law felony offense of the burglary, the petty theft, and a battery, battery. and I revoked the bond. So if you can give me any testimony that it would indicate why I should grant him a bond when he's revoked the release or excuse me when I revoke the release based on all of those new law offenses in the felony and he has a prior failure to appear as well he has a five well he has no bond at this time in the case you know, let me have a brief moment with co-counsel We'll defer to the court. I'll let the motion speak for itself. All right, I'm going to deny the motion based on the reasons as I previously stated. Please tell me your name, sir. Oscar Teles. 
Sanchez? Yes, okay. Oscar Sanchez Tellez. All right, Mr. Tellez Sanchez, you're here in 2019 MM 740180, oh, and your attorneys have filed a motion for release on your own recognizance. have a $500 bond for charge of possession or carrying a concealed weapon. Do you have any? He does have six. The last one was in March of this year. No prior history? Uh, last conviction was for damage to property, pe petty theft, that was in July of this year. Convictions include engage in pawnbroker business, resisting officer without violence, grand theft of motor vehicle, concealed carry weapon, dealing in stolen property, trespass, failed to register, no valid, load or prowl, possession of burglary tools. Um, those are Florida convictions. He has out-of-state convictions, willful obstruction of Leo, pro probation violation, uh, theft by breeding stolen property, criminal interference with government, theft by receiving stolen property, burglary of vehicle, unlawful carry, unauthorized use of vehicle, failure to ID, fugitive from justice. He also has an outstanding warrant from Georgia, but it's in-state pickup only. Okay. All right, Ms. Fowler, it's your motion. The Honor, we defer this matter to the court. We'll let the motion speak for itself. Okay. Uh, based on the, I have no testimony, and based on the failures to appear, um, and the most recent being March of 2019, the most recent conviction of July of 2019. I don't think a $500 bond is an inappropriate bond to ensure that Mr. Sanchez or Tiles Sanchez appears in court. And so I'm gonna deny the motion. Did the state wanna be heard? Sorry. I didn't hear. Okay, I didn't hear. Is everybody ready on the 33 days? All right, 2019 CF 10869AO, Sandra Liz Gonzalez. She's United States House Commission on 926. All right, that will be denied. 2019 CF 12663 AO Matthew Christopher Hamilton. He's been in jail for 21 days. Is that correct? I'm showing he was arrested on September 6, 2019. 2019 CF12663. There's a bunch of them on here that are very untimely. Showing he was arrested on the complaint on 9 6. Can you tell me when he was arrested on this case? What's the case number? 2019 CF 12663. He had his initial appearance on 9 7. He was arrested on 9 6. Date and time book 9 6 and then date of arrest 8 20. Let's see what this is. Yeah. 
of his arrest on this case. Yeah. It was an add on, and it was stamped as an add on. But not for this case. Yeah, not for this case. No. Okay. So it is untimely. It's the same for 2019 CF 12669 as well. That's Matthew Christopher Hamilton. So unless somebody can show me that he was arrested on this case, on that case, it's an add-on. Yeah. So again, untimely. the same date of arrest. Two thousand nineteen CF one one eight four one AO. I don't know if that that looks like he was arrested on the eighth, nineteen. What was the page number? Two thousand nineteen. I think the state filed a notice of non-filing in that case. So that will be granted. I granted the 11841. Two thousand nineteen CF one one eight three eight A O Matthew Hamilton. I think that's also an eight twenty. Arrest. Okay. There was a notice of non filing. That will be granted. All right. Two, 2019 CF 11839 AO Matthew Hamilton. I think that was an 820 arrest. And the notice of non filing was filed. That will be granted. 2019 CF 11835 AO Matthew Hamilton. I think that was the 820 arrest. Okay, that will be granted. A notice of non filing was filed. And I think the next one is the August or the 96th. As well in 2019, CF 12688AO. I think that is the same, is that 96. Is that correct? That was an add on. 12688. Thank you. That was an add on 96. He was arrested on that one.
2019 CF 11831AO Matthew Hamilton. I think that one is timely and it will be granted. A notice of non filing was filed. 2019 CF 11833AO Matthew Hamilton. I think that was timely filed. And a notice of non filing was filed. And that will be granted. 2019 CF 11834AO Matthew Hamilton. I think that's timely. And a notice of non filing was filed. That will be granted. 2019 CF 11840AO Matthew Hamilton. That's timely. And the notice of non filing was filed. And that will be granted. Right, and we have 2019 CF 11911AO Tammy Michelle Watson. And that will be granted. Two thousand nineteen CF one zero three zero six AO Loom Herman Garnett the third. The bond was revoked in that case on nine one two thousand nineteen. So that will be denied. Two thousand and nineteen CF one two zero six one AO Mark Timothy Daniel Brown. You don't do you have an ID number or no? Okay. Uh, no, but I can the closest office is either scale. Oh okay. So Two thousand nineteen CF one two two one three AO Mark Crupler. It looks like his this is the thirtieth day in jail. He was arrested on eight twenty eight. Two thousand and nineteen CF one one five two five AO Theodore David Coleman. That should be granted the state file notification. Two thousand nineteen CF one one two two five two AO Nabilia Zakaria Sullivan. This was again the thirtieth day. These keep getting filed untimely, and it's not pursuant to the proper rules. But I don't know if the state has any. Two thousand and nineteen CF one one nine one two AO Marcus Demetrius Demps. The state has not made a charging decision in that case. All right, that will be granted. Two 
2019 CF 12186AO Cody Duane Rogers, also untimely, 31 days. be granted um, I, I think the rule does not say before or the 33rd day I mean just for purposes of the court because the state says the the, the, the statute the rules say right and it, today is not the 33rd day um, right, so if we objected they would still have to wait three more days for us to Right, but the rule says the state, the court shall release them on the 33rd day. It doesn't say on or before when right. the state, fi okay. Yeah, yeah. So I, so I, I'm gonna start denying them as untimely because they sh they're, fi they're filed untimely and it puts the state on, I don't know what, why it triggers the state and the state's not counting the days. I know, but that should be something that needs to be relayed to the managers and the supervisors because it's they're untimely, and the rule requires me to re to release them on the 33rd day. I mean, I could put on the order they can be released on the 33rd day. I mean, I might start just doing that. I know that that's going to mess with corrections, and they're looking at me like I'm crazy, but <laughs> that's what the rule requires. So, um, but for today, I'll. I'll based on what the state's requesting. So, um, and so do you guys all are ready and I just need to review, do we have, do we have a final count number? Do we know? Just so that I don't read things I don't need to read. If they've bonded. 14. 14, okay. Oh, thank you so much. So these are all the face sheets for the people I need to read. All right, and so how, I'm, I don't know how much time I'll need, but it shouldn't be more than, I would say, 30 minutes. So how about 11.45, is that okay? Does that work for everybody? Okay, we'll see you back here at 11.45. We're back on the record. It is September 27, 2019. This is Judge Wish, Courtroom 1, Session 2. Can I have the parties announce themselves for the record, please? Happy Kennedy Smalls on behalf of the Office of the State Attorney. Adam Schill with the Office of Public Defender. Letitia Fowler with the Office of Public Defender. Can you tell me your name? Yes, ma'am. My name is Tanya Felisa Harris. All right, Ms. Harris, you're here in case number 2019-MM7890-AO. You're arrested for trespass on property after warning. 
And I do find probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. Was there an offer for Ms. Har Harris if she wanted to resolve her case? No, Your Honor. No offer? Okay. All right. No offer. So, it public, so what you mean no offer? So the state is not offering you. Yeah. What's your name, ma'am? So so what is your name? Miss Harris. Miss Harris, Harris. Harris. listen to me. The state has made an offer. Yes. It is an adjudication of guilt and credit for time served. You don't speak to Miss Fowler like that. Yes. She's here representing you. Yeah. She's looking out for your best interest. Yeah. Do you want to accept the offer? What is it again? It's an it's credit for time served. What does that mean? I leave. Yes. Today. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. You can't go back to where you were trespassed from. I have to impose court costs. I'll give you a year to pay those off. So you've been trespassed from 7-Eleven at 3000 West Colonial. You yes. can't go back there. Do you want to accept the offer? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I need my paper. So, I get. Okay. Is it my paper? Yeah, I just want to let my mother know who this lady is on the side, and my cousin know. Cause my cousin, you know, she made the GD. Her name Dorothy Harris. And I need you to pick it up, sir. And she made GD. Her name Dorothy and Harris. She made that paper GD, and she never do nothing for me. No call. Just sign right there. How you doing? I want my paper. Give me my paper, man. Hey, paper just signed. Judge got to read it to you. We're going to go through the plea form. I'll have you answer some questions, and then we'll have you on your way. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, Miss Harris, I'm showing you the plea form. Is this your signature at the bottom? Yes, ma'am. All right. Did you understand everything contained in the plea form? I didn't read it, but I understand. Oh, you didn't read it? Uh-uh. I okay. read it. Well, <laughs> yeah, but I understand what you Well, I, I need to have you read it. Can you read and write English? Yes. Okay, I'm yes, going to have but you not read But not with no copy. OPD men mess with me. Now I'm gonna open these white men. They okay. they 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 stay down there. Right, I'm, I'm gonna have I'm you not go from back there. I'm and share. read the plea form. I can't take the plea unless I know you've read the plea form. Yes. Are you done, Miss Harris? I said I read half of it, but I know what the rest of it means. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I need you to finish reading it. I, I read everything except that I understand. Okay, the read following. that part. Read that part. Okay. Read everything on the plea form. That the nature of charges, the difference between the plea and uh, guilty nine contents. I don't want to. I know what you mean. I understand. I'm, I'm, I read you, it every time. Did you read everything? Yes, I, okay. I understand it. Did you understand everything contained in the plea form? Yes. All yes, right. Do you understand all the rights you're giving up by entering the plea? Yes, ma'am. Miss Carly, all as right. you wish. Are you on probation anywhere? No, ma'am. Okay. 
Do you understand that if you're not a U.S. citizen, the plea will subject you to deportation? I'm a U.S. citizen. Okay, all right. I do find a factual basis for acceptance of the plea based on the affidavit. I'm going to be guilty. How many days did she have? Three days in the Orange County Jail with credit for three days time served. You can't go back to the 7-Eleven at 3000 West Colonial Drive. You must abide by all trespass warnings. <laughs> I do have to impose court costs. I'm going to order that you pay those by September 27, 2020. <laughs> if you'd like to appeal the judgment and sentence of the court, you must do so in writing within 30 days. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Good luck, Ms. Harris. Please tell me your name, sir. Edward Ambro the third. All right, Mr. Ambro, you're here in 2019, CF 13636AO. You're arrested for fleeing and attempting to loot a law enforcement officer by failing to obey his command. I will. I do find probable cause, and they're advising me that you do not qualify for the public defender. Do you make $600 a week? Is that your paycheck? No, it's not a month. Oh, a month? Yes. Okay. I'm going to change that. I'm going to find that you do qualify for the public defender, and I'll appoint them to represent you. You may not have any contact with any of the witnesses over at the Dollar Family Dollar at 1011 South Dillard Street in Winter Garden. You may not return back there either. And your bond is set at $7,500 and you're out on bond, but I won't take any action on that case. If I see you again, I'm sure if another judge sees you again and you have two out on bond cases, you know what's probably gonna happen, okay? All right, please tell me your name. You're here in case number 2019-CF-13635-AO. one three six three five ao you are arrested for possession of MDMA. I do find probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender. You may not possess or consume any illegal substances without a valid prescription. I'll stay the bond at the 1,000. I won't take any action on your open case. So you need to make sure you keep in touch with your attorney in the case, okay? Please tell me your name. Christy Febo. All right, Ms. Febo, you're here in case number 2019 CF 13637AO. Yes. And you are arrested for possession of cocaine, possession of heroin, possession of methamphetamine, possession of a controlled substance, possession of cannabis less than 20 grams, and possession of a prescription drug without a prescription. I do find probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. You may not possess or consume any illegal substances without a valid prescription. No contact with any witnesses in the case. I'll stay the bond at 1,000 and 150 on counts two through six. Thank you. Good luck. Yep. Your Honor, Mr. Hamilton bonded. Okay, we'll take no action on Mr. Hamilton. And Michael Johnson bonded. Okay, we'll take no action on him. And please tell me your name, sir. Toy Donnell Panky. All right, Mr. Panky, you're here in two cases 2018 CF 8487AO. And you were arrested pursuant to a warrant for a violation of probation. The judge did set your bond at none in the case. I'll appoint the public defender in that case. You'll be seen by Judge Whitehead in a week to 10 days, could be sooner. In 2019 CF 8150 AO, the 
state did file an information in the case and probable cause was found by the judge in 2000, oh, I already said the case number, and they charged you with petty theft, two prior theft convictions. And there are some conditions on the KPS. You're not to have any contact directly or indirectly with any victim, co-defendant, or witness. You're not to return back to the scene of the offense. And that was at the tr Dollar Tree at 5621 South Orange Avenue in Orlando. You're not to possess or consume any alcohol or any illegal substances or controlled substances without a valid prescription, and you're not to possess any weapons or firearms or any ammunition. And the bond will stay set, I believe it's $1,000. And I'll appoint the public defender to represent you in that case as well. Please tell me your name, sir. Ryan Siefker, ma'am. All right, sir, you're here in case number 2019-CF-13638-AO. You're arrested for felony battery causing great bodily harm. I do find probable cause. I don't have a form for the public defender. Were you planning on hiring your own attorney? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, so you don't want the public defender today? I mean, I, you know, I want a public, I want my attorney. Okay. He's just not here today. Were they planning on a coming today? He's not in the same city. Okay. All right. So I'm ordering that you're not to have any contact directly or indirectly with any victim or witness in the case. You may not possess or consume any alcohol or any illegal substances without a valid prescription. No weapons, no firearms, and no ammunition. And I'll stay the bond at the 2500 Okay. Thank you. All right. Please tell me your name, sir. Raul Carrionto Horton. All right, sir. You're here in 2019 CF 13641AO. You're arrested for carjacking with a weapon or firearm, and I do find probable cause. And do you make $500 a week after taxes? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm going to appoint the public defender's office to represent you based on the fact that it's a punishable by life felony. Um, and does Ms. Kenny Swanson, do you want to be heard as to bond? Yes, Your Honor. This defendant, along with his co defendant, um, entered the rear door of the vehicle. Um, the female driver stated that one male had a knife, forced her to pull over, and she was supposed to get out of the vehicle. When she was out of the vehicle, she was able to call 911. A bolo was placed. The vehicle was located a short time later with this defendant and the co defendant in the vehicle. Um, the co defendant. for the matter to the court. Okay, and, and um, this defendant is alleged to have confessed to being inside the vehicle and pushing the victim out of the vehicle. So I do find proof evident, presumption great. I am gonna hold um, Mr. Torton um, Carrion at no bond, um, no weapons, no firearms, no ammunition, no contact with the victim, any witnesses, or the co-defendant, Edward Torton and no alcohol or any illegal substances without a valid prescription and the public defender can file any motions in the trial division. Please tell me your name, sir. Edward Tohorton. All right, you're here in 2019 CF 13641AO. You're arrested for felony battery causing great bodily harm. You're arrested for felony battery causing great bodily harm. You're arrested for felony battery causing great bodily harm. You're arr
Sheeran, case number 2019-CF13642-AO. You're arrested for carjacking with a weapon or firearm. I do find probable cause. And you make $800 a week. Is that after taxes? No, that's a check a week. That's your check? Yeah. $800 is on your paycheck. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have any kids? No. Okay. Um, I'm going to appoint the public defender anyway, regardless of whether you do not qualify. It's punishable by life felony. Um, and Ms. Kenny Swanson, did you want to be heard as to bond? Yes, Your Honor, I'll just finish. You can tell us that no bond based on proof and everything. Don't you agree? The same argument you previously made in that the um, victim was driving to make the Spanish Mural and entered the rear of her car. Um, one ran the street at night. Another one pushed her, had her come to a stop and pushed her out of the vehicle. She was able to call 911 after a bolo. They located the car a short time later with these two co defendants present in the car. Um, this co defendant, Mr. Edwards, was taken to the hospital. Once he was out of the hospital, he stated that he did have the knife, excuse me, the other co defendant confessed, pushing her out of the vehicle. Based on that, Your Honor, we believe that, we sh that they should be held, that Mr. Edwards should be held at no bond based on proof of evidence consumption rate. No contact with the victim, no contact with the co defendant, no weapons, no firearms, no drugs, no alcohol. All right, Ms. Fowler, I'll defer the matter to the court. Okay. So I do find proof evident presumption great based on the affidavit in the court file. I'm gonna hold Ms. Horton no bond, no contact with any victim, any witness, any co-defendant, um, to Horton carry on, and no weapons, no firearms, no ammunition, no illegal substances without a valid prescription, and no alcohol. And the public defender can file any motions in the downtown court division. Please tell me your name, sir. Can you tell me your name, please? Patrick Hafford. All right, Mr. Hafford, you're here in 2019 MM 7954AO. You're arrested for trespass on property after warning. I do find probable cause, and I don't have a form for the public defender. Uh, did you want to see if the state had an offer to resolve your case? Do you um, want to resolve your case today? Yes. Okay. Is there an offer? Um, I read today earlier was an occasion for time served, so sure. Is it one day? Two? Okay. All right. It's credit for time served offer, so that would get you out today. I would have to impose court costs, and you can't go back to the Walmart at 11250 East Colonial. Do you want to do that? Yes. Okay. I'll have you sign the plea form. Mr. Hafford, I'm showing you this plea form. Is this your signature at the bottom? Yes. Did you understand everything contained in the plea form? Yes. Do you understand all the rights that you're giving up by entering the plea? Yes. Are you on probation anywhere? No. You understand if you're not a U.S. citizen, the plea will subject you to deportation? Yes. Okay. I do find a factual basis based on the affidavit. I'll adjudicate you guilty, sentence you to two days in the Orange County Jail with credit for two days time served. I do have to impose court costs order that you pay those by September 27, 2020, and you can't go back to that Walmart at 11250 East Colonial Drive. You've been trespassed from there. You must abide by the trespass warnings. And I, I'm gonna, um, if you want to appeal the judgment and sentence of the court, you must do so in writing within 30 days. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Good luck. Please tell me your name. Jim Area Bradley. All right, Ms. Bradley, this is an over-the-county line arrest. And you are charged with grand theft of a motor vehicle. And I do find probable cause. The bond will stay at the $2,500.
And so does Seminole County have the 24 hours? Correct. Okay, so from this point forward, Seminole County has 24 hours, not including weekends or holidays to come and pick you up, okay? If you can bond out, you can bond out. If not, um, then they'll come back and, and they'll pick you up. If they don't, then you'll come back before a judge, okay? Your Honor, just one question is for the, the two of them. Is Monday considered a holiday? Yes. Okay, that's what I was talking about, okay? Thank you, Please tell me your name, ma'am. Shatara Nika Butts. All right, Ms. Butts, you're here. You were charged. This is also an over-the-county line arrest with two counts of aggravated fleeing and eluding, um, resulting in injury or damage to property, um, grand theft of a motor vehicle, possession of MDMA, and driving while license suspended. And I do find probable cause. Okay. And no weapons, no firearms, no ammunition, no illegal substances without a valid prescription, no contact with any witnesses or victims or co-defendants. And the bond on count one will be 20,000, 150 on count two, 2,500 on count three, 2,500 on count four, 2,500 on count five. And Seminole, as I told the woman before you, Seminole County has 24 hours, not including weekends or holidays, Monday's a holiday to come and pick you up. If they don't do so, you'll come back before myself, okay, or another judge. Yes, ma'am. Okay? If you can bond out, you can bond out. Please tell me your name. Carlos Mijares. All right, Ms. Mijares, you're here into you're here on an out of county warrant out of Lee County. Looks like the judge in that case did set your bond at none. And so um, Lee County has 72 hours, not including weekends or holidays. Monday is a holiday, okay? Um, they will have that much time to come and pick you up pursuant to our administrative order. If they don't do that within that time frame, you'll come back before a judge, okay? Hey, uh, you know, let me ask you something. Is there, because I didn't even know that I had a warrant. That's why I came out here. There's nothing I don't have any jurisdiction over anything that happens in Lee County. Okay. So all I can tell you is what's on the teletype. It says Grand Theft Motor Vehicle. That's all that I have. Please tell me your name. John Bilheimer. All right, Mr. Bilheimer. You are here in case number 2019-MO4805-AO. You're charged with an open container violation. And I do find probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. And is there an offer for Mr. Bilheimer? Yes, Your Honor, adjudication of guilt, credit time served, and no return. Hmm. So is it a no return to Colonial Drive in North Mills? Okay, okay, I was just trying to figure out where, okay. So it's just credit for time served. Yes, and I would have to impose court costs. I'd give you a year to pay those off. I won't take any action on the out on release case. Thank you.
right, Mr. Billheimer, I'm showing you this plea form. Is this your signature at the bottom? Is this your signature? Did I, did I sign it? Well, it's the same form that the gentleman brought up that was right in front of you. So that, I yes, think I did sign it. Okay. And did you understand everything that was contained within the plea form? Pretty much. What, is there anything, what didn't you understand? I think I understand it all. Okay, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. So do you understand all the rights that you're giving up when you enter the plea? Honor, may we have a brief moment to review the sheet? I understand, Your Honor. Okay. So are you on probation, Mr. Bilheimer? I am not. Okay. Do you understand that if you're not a U.S. citizen, the plea will subject you to deportation? I understand. Okay. I do find a factual basis for acceptance of the plea based on the affidavit. I'll adjudicate you guilty, sentence you to two days in the Orange County Jail with credit for two days time served. I'm going to order that you pay your court costs by September 27, 2020, and if you want to appeal the judgment and sentence of the court, you must do so in writing within 30 days. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Good luck. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't take any action. All right. Please tell me your name, sir. Uh, Stephen French. Mr. French, you're here in 2019 CF 13415AO. You're arrested for burglary of an occupied dwelling, grand theft third degree, and criminal mischief. And I do find probable cause. I'll appoint the public defender's office to represent you. You may not return back to 10154 Cypress Meet Circle or have any contact with any listed victim or witness. No weapons, no firearms, or any ammunition. The bond will stay at 5,000. I'll reduce count two to 150 and count three to 100. You're out on release in two cases, 2019 CF 1113 and 2019 CF 1114. 4 AO, I'm revoking the release and setting the bonds at none. Does he have attorneys? You do have attorneys with he's in those cases and they can file any motions for you. I was like, where did she go? <laughs> All right. And the court will be in recess until tomorrow's session.